Biggest mistake when searching for a house in a hot real estate market. Hi, I'm Jeff Chubb. We got Jason Bonarigo with us today. And make sure you stick around for the end of the video to find out what we're going to do with this $1,000. So, so, Jeff, talk to me. What is what is a hot market? What's going on right now? Well, so, so a hot market, a hot seller's market, is basically where sellers have all pricing power, all the advantages of a market, hot marketplace, if you will. So, um, And that's really what we're seeing today. We're seeing sellers... They can pick their terms, pick and, and choose their and terms. I, and I've seen it too, obviously, you know, talking to you guys with, you know, hey, we didn't get the house. It was multiple bids. There was 13, 14, 15 offers on it. It just, it just seems like it's crazy. Now, is this... We is just this went up against one with 30. Legitimately 30? 30 offers. Yeah, that's, that's a normal market. So is this, I'm, obviously, I think I know the answer, but can you talk a little bit about, is this just solely based on inventory? I mean, what... what, what it is, there's just, it's a simple supply and demand equation, right? Yeah. There is more demand than there is supply. So... You know, really what, what's happening is we're seeing houses go far above a seller's initial asking price. And so this is the biggest mistake that buyers are quite frankly making, yeah. right? I was just going to ask you, is that does that lead to an issue with one, let's say my pre-approved buyers out there at 500000 I mean, they, they really can't just start at 500000 can they? Right, and that, that's the problem, right? So if you're a $500,000 buyer and you go out and you look at a new listing that just came on the market this week at four ninety nine nine, dollars right? Sorry, yeah. Guess what? That That's kind of like the initial bid price in this and Unless market. they know that they have room in their budget, but they have to know that that kind right. of escalation option is there because they're all going for over list. Right, right, I mean, right exactly. So if you're here. a $500,000 buyer in this market, you need to be, and you're looking at a $500,000 house, right. that house isn't going to go for 500 most no. likely. That house might very well go for 550, 560, 570. It's, it's, it's absolutely crazy and in the sense the that we're seeing it. Yep. So if yep. you're that $500,000 buyer, right, you should be looking at houses that are like 450 range, right? No and, and planning that that is going to be built in. And especially if you're capped at that amount, right? And right. again, that's more on my, on my side of things, the lender side. But I mean, if I if I tell you, hey, Mr. Jones is capped at 500, he can't go over that. Can't he, go above. he can't start. In the old days, he could actually look at 500,000, right. feel like he could negotiate down a little bit, but it's-, it's Not in this market. It's actually the reverse of that, yeah, right? There so. aren't any good deals in this market, if you will. The good deal is securing a house. So like, like, that that's the big aspect. You know, people ask me, hey, can I get a deal? On a no, you can't, no, you can't yeah. get a deal. I talk to people like that. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna offer this to now, and so I'm like, well, good luck. Stop like, wasting your time. You're not gonna, I mean, that, you know, that, that, that's what it comes down to. It's not even so. so the, even the, back to the biggest mistake. So, if I'm a buyer and I'm looking at $500,000 houses that are ultimately gonna go 550 grand, yep. the real value of that house is $550,000. What's this thing about asking price compared with real price? Right, right? Like so. So if I'm falling in love with five hundred and fifty thousand dollar houses, yeah. real value five hundred and fifty thousand dollar houses when my house, you know, my budget's only up to five hundred. Well, I'm going to be really dis. It's ultimately going to end up. I'm going to be really disappointed the in the four hundred and fifty thousand right. dollar houses that are really have the real value of around that five hundred price point. So, so what about? I mean, and again, that goes back to expectations. What about? I mean, the little niches or maybe even boutique markets. I hear this 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 thing called stale listings. Right. I mean, what, how does that work? What so is that? it's nuts. In this market, literally a house that has not gone under agreement in yeah. the first week is kind of considered stale. Okay. And not stale. A whole this, week? A whole week. Okay. We, it, it did not go under agreement <laughs> that first week. You see these agents do these call of offers, right? That's it, insane, just so you know, it, folks. It is absolutely insane. That's crazy. So house didn't go under agreement that first week. That's when we're kind of like, okay, the real market value of that property is somewhere around what that seller has listed for. So Let's just go back to that five hundred thousand dollars bar, right? right? That house is on the market for four ninety nine. Yeah. Okay. And a whole week goes by, they don't get any offer. They haven't sold it in a day. Right. Yeah. That's when that five hundred thousand dollars buyer should say, "Okay, now let's go take. Let's not waste my time, right? I don't want to waste my time and stand in line going maybe to this I open could. house. Now let's go take a look at maybe this there's property. Maybe there, right? Right. Because maybe the real value is of that house is actually five hundred, right. or maybe it's slightly below, and we can negotiate. What a causes bit. that, Jeff? I mean, obviously, is that just kind of some the realtor didn't do their job, or they overpriced? I mean, what causes a sale listing? It's a neighborhood. I mean, it could be many factors. Right? I mean, just sometimes the seller getting a little too aggressive on on, on pricing. I mean, you know, so, oh my neighbor's house sold for this, and right. my house, everybody's but house. But they have a five bedroom colonial. This right. guy has a ranch, and right. he has another different. And everybody's right. house is always better than. Oh, of course. House, right? Of and course. so, oh, and and I put this really nice extra expensive paint on my I property. Put the golden so, kitchen in. Right, right. And, right. 
you know, and, and quite frankly, sellers are asking for some prices and they're getting in this market. In this market, it makes sense. If you're a seller, ask for the price. Right. Right. Because they're but, getting it or they have a chance to get it. Why right. not? Right. And then because you can always adjust the price. Too. But I'm just seeing so much heartbreak from buyers. And that, that's why this is the biggest mistake they can be. That $500,000 buyer or the $450,000 buyer looking at newly listed properties that are 450 grand that are really going to go for 500, 525. And, and you're just setting yourself up for Well, I think that, and that's kind of how we summed it up, which was the, the, the managing expectations on both sides, right? Me as a lender, giving that pre-approval amount, making them feel comfortable that you don't want to just issue that max amount. And then you as obviously on the realtor side, it's but just letting them know what this market is really like right. for good or for bad. This is the market and our expectations because obviously you don't want the, a disappointed buyer, but you want a realistic buyer, right? right. And, and something I hear, well, I'm just going to wait until this market cools down. Yeah, that's and, and I'm, Well, you know, the funny thing, as I say about that is, what about the people that said that in 2018? Well, I'm going to wait until this market, you know, calms down and goes back down in price. Boy, I'm sure you're really wishing you bought in and 2018. And that applies to some markets, but yeah. not, you know, not in a solid metro market, right. depending on where you're in. So, but, yeah. But, um, so this uh, thousand bucks we're going to talk about in a second, but I'm Jeff Chubb with the Chubb Homes team. We're brokered by eXp Realty. Jason? Jason Bonarigo, RMS Mortgage in Boston, 617-413-5038. And you can get us at boston2.com or 617-480-2600. So this thousand bucks, when we hit a thousand subscribers, we're going to donate a thousand dollars to the ASPCA. Subscribe. So we hit that subscribe button. It's a wonderful cause. Let's save some puppies together. You know, this way my wife won't make me turn off the commercial whenever that commercial comes on. She always makes me change the different channel. We can say, hey, look, we gave them a grant. I'll make my, my little... My little daughter right. be happy. Let's, let's buy some more Sarah yes. McLaughlin for I love this song. <laughs> exactly. so, so be sure you hit that subscribe button. Let's save some puppies. Let's uh, give them a thousand bucks. And uh, otherwise, for all your real estate questions, we're looking forward to hearing from you. Um, until next time.